Steps in solving a stoichiometric problem. Step 1. The given is first converted to moles using molar mass. Then, use the mole ratio or the coefficient ratio from the balance equation to calculate the number of moles of the wanted substance. Then finally, the moles are converted to whatever the problem requires. It could be like mass in grams or number of particles, which is the Avogadro's number, and volume. So here is a new conversion factor. One mole of a gas at a standard pressure and temperature occupies 22.4 liters. So here are the conversion factors. One is the mole mass relationship gives you two conversion factors. One mole over one molar mass and molar mass over one mole. The second is the mole ratio from the balance equation because the balance equation gives you the coefficients. So you have on the numerator a mole of the unknown, on the denominator mole of the given. So again, A and B are the coefficients in the balance equation. Third, the mole volume relationship. So one mole of a gas occupies 22.4 liters at the standard temperature and pressure. So you have two conversion factors, one mole on top, 22.4 liters on the denominator, or 22.4 liters on the numerator, and one mole on the denominator. So obviously, when do you use this? When the wanted substance is liters, when do you use this? When the wanted substance is mole. Another conversion factor is using the Avogadro's number. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles because it gives you the mole number of particles relationship. So when do you use this? When the wanted substance is number of particles. And you use this conversion factor when the wanted substance is the number of moles. So here is a sample problem using conversion factor, one mole over molar mass and the mole ratio coefficient between the unknown and the given. How many moles of hydrogen are needed to react with 56 grams of nitrogen? So 56 grams of nitrogen is given. The molar mass of nitrogen is also given. You are asked mole of H2 or hydrogen. So the balance equation is this. Three moles of hydrogen. You... I suggest you use colors to label the unknown. So we use blue and to label the given yellow color. So obviously you can see the relationship is three moles of hydrogen 
and one mole of nitrogen. So that means you need to convert nitrogen mass to mole. So using the molar mass, you can now convert the 56 grams to moles. Then once it is already in mole, then the unknown mole hydrogen can be calculated. Two moles of nitrogen, and this is the conversion factor again. Wherein you have the mole of the unknown, and on the denominator is the mole of the given. Then the math equation now is 2 times 3, multiply everything on the numerator, and then divided by the denominator. You have the unknown mole hydrogen. Another problem using conversion factor, mole ratio at once, and then the molar mass, one mole, the over one mole. So how many grams of hydrogen are needed to react with two moles of nitrogen? So again, the mole is already given. So that means you can use the mole ratio at once. So the unknown mole hydrogen equals the given two moles of nitrogen times the mole ratio. This is the mole ratio. On top is the unknown. On the denominator is the given. So cancel. You need to cancel this unit. Cancel this unit. And the equation is 2 times 3 mole hydrogen divided by 1 equals 6 moles of hydrogen and convert this to grams as the problem requires using molar mass of hydrogen. So this is it. Grams of hydrogen equals 6 moles of hydrogen times the molar mass of hydrogen equals 12 grams of hydrogen. You need to cancel mole hydrogen, cancel mole hydrogen, then the equation now is 6 times 2 divided by 1 is 12 grams of hydrogen. So, sample problem using molar volume as conversion factor. How many liters of ammonia gas and H3 are produced from 6 moles of hydrogen? According to the balance equation, assuming conditions are at standard temperature and pressure, so that you can use this mole bore, mole, molar volume relationship. One mole of a gas occupies a volume of 22.4 liters at STP. Now, the given is already in moles. So once you know now this is the formula, moles of the given, then you can convert it to liters. I mean moles of the unknown, convert it to liters using the molar volume relationship. Okay? So, here is the how to convert first. You need to, to use the mole ratio. So, to calculate the moles of ammonia. Now that you know the moles of ammonia, you can now convert it to liters using this conversion factor.
So sample problem using conversion factor wherein you have one mole on the numerator and the 22.4 liters on the denominator is when the given is in liters then you need to convert it to mole so that you can use the mole ratio you can you calculate the mole so these are the knowns another known is the mole ratio between the given and the unknown and another known is the molar volume. So unknown is mole NH3. Convert 67 point liters of nitrogen to mole. Then use the mole ratio to solve for moles of NH3. So 67.2 liters of nitrogen times 1 divided by 22.4 liters. This is the conversion factor to convert liters to moles. Then you now have 3 moles of nitrogen. So mole of the unknown equals 3 moles of nitrogen using conversion factor mole ratio. Then you have the mole of the unknown, which is the wanted, the problem requires. Now, if the problem requires 4 liters NH3, then you continue. This time, multiply the number of moles by the volume 22.4 liters over 1 mole. So here is a sample problem using the mole Avogadro's number of particles relationship. How many moles of nitrogen are needed to produce 2.4 times 10 to the 24 molecules NH3? So the given is not moles. So you need to convert this to moles. And to convert it to moles, then... You use this conversion factor. So cancel molecules, cancel molecules NH3. You have 2.4 times 10 to the 24 times 1 mole NH3 divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd will give you 4 moles NH3. Now you can now calculate the mole of the unknown because you can now use the, the mole ratio. Unknown on top, given on the denominator.